hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we are here once again at Mount Fuji. Yes, today we are taking on the first race of the Super Formula Series. Fixed races are uh, around 20 minutes just under race times by the looks of it. And yeah, we are kickstarting the year here at Fuji Speedway. 11 laps ahead of us, unlike the Ferrari fixed race we did yesterday. If you missed that, go back and check it out. Uh, we are actually going to be qualifying for this one today. So let's head out there then here. I am so ready for this. P6, you're currently 1.3 off the leader's pace. That lap was at 124.5. Oh, at the final corner, it's going to be very, very close. But I think we're only going to line up P2 here provisionally on the grid. Unless my Delta appears to be lying to me up over the line. He's going to be a 123.3 there. Leaves us less than a tenth away from pole position. First half of the lap felt really, really good. Just struggling for confidence in the second half. But, yeah, if we can start on the front row here, I'd walk away a very, very happy man. And immediately, uh, all hopes of that are squashed. Is there ever a scarier place to start a race in a Formula car than Fuji? Such a long run down towards turn one and such a tight breaking point in that first corner. I'm expecting, to be honest, things to go badly wrong here. Um, but I'd love to try and get a good first result in the Super Formula car. Super fun when you get it hooked up, but you feel like you're constantly driving this thing on a knife edge. Let's get on with it. I also have got no idea as to how I'm supposed to launch this thing, so this is probably not going to go well off the launch. Just trying to try and keep the wheel spin to a minimum. I always thought it was rolling starts in Super Formula, but I must be wrong. Get ready. Go, nail it. Clearly, pole sitter as well doesn't know how to launch this thing as we head down towards Stelmon. We're almost going to be four wide. I'm going to be on Car the outside, right. so I'm just going to take it very, very easy. Give myself a wide Car line right. through the first corner. It looks there. to be actually at the front of the field fairly calm. It's quite impressive. I mean, it will all... Right I don't know what that right. guy's right doing. Oh, there you go. There we go. Car That's right. going to be some death in front of me very, very Still early on right. in this race. Uh, yeah, we definitely lost a couple of places. This guy surely lost his front wing as well. I don't see a way... In which that right car side. isn't wrecked, car as we're going to get a 0x there as well. Rather lucky to get away with Still that there. one. Clear right. um, but yeah, top two already trying to you break free okay. just a little bit. We'll switch back as we head down in towards car the hairpin. Clear left. Yeah. Way too car hot right. in. Right side's clear. And yeah, we're just going to have to try and make our way through the chicane. The try not to gain anything right. out of that. You're on the left. Three wide. Still got to remember. Whoa, hello. Car's on there the right. on my inside. I've got to be so, so careful on the cold rubber. We just had no braking performance there, and I kind of accepted the fact that I was going to have to give up on... Oh, no, on that one, as that's what I was worried about in this car. So easy. Just to do that, we'll have to wait for the other cars to come through. And now we are way down the order. So easy. Whoa, hello. To light up the rears on this thing, as we're going to do it again. Don't hit the wall. But, whoa, hello. That was close. Car left. That was not my Clear wisest left. rejoin either. I thought, honestly, I don't know why I thought all the other cars had gone. Uh, but clearly, of course, they hadn't. We pick up a 4X there, but I don't think 
We got any damage from it. Didn't feel any contact. So we head back down towards the one. Great job. I've lost like so many places, crew chief, but apparently he's okay with it. Um, so yeah, now we've got a mountain to climb then to try and get this thing back up to decent I rating territory. P18, so yeah, it really was losing a lot of places on that opening lap, but I'm sure we're going to see other drivers make mistakes. You know, this thing around Fuji is so, so difficult, like I said. Feels like you're on a knife edge constantly. Um, but yeah, we'll just try and pick up the pieces, I suppose. And I think the push to pass is still active in this series, so we're going to try and whack that on then, and now we're going to actually going to get a timer on the steering wheel. Apparently I picked up wheel damage from nudging over that curbing. I don't know how much of this you can actually use you've each time around. You can see it is really working for me. I know once you've used it, it gets disabled for 100 seconds. Yellow flag. So we'll try and have a look side. down the inside, Clear which left. we will just about get hooked up. Another car going slowly on the exit. Oh, you've actually got to turn it off as well. That's interesting then. So you get 200 seconds of that. In an 11 lap race, you're actually going to be using it an awful lot around this venue. So we're going to have to be careful and make sure we try and get through as much of that as we possibly can. But yeah, back up to P17 we'll go. Um, let's just keep trying. I mean, could we aim for a top 10 here? You know, perhaps we can still get some eye rating out of this. We'll wait and see. Sergeant is leading the race. Logan Sargent's winning. we got Sergeant and Alonso in this one. That's quite impressive. Okay, so there we go. We can see actually on the left-hand side there on the dash. That is the overtake recovery time. So that obviously is slowly counting back up. 24-3 new personal best. Pretty close to the race leader's times. So you can, yeah, obviously definitely break later into turn one. Obviously when you're not on the overtake. Just because obviously you're carrying less speed into the corner. But yeah, sensibly then you're probably going to want to be using that down towards turn one. And then all the way here... Um, in Track towards turn decreased. three. Now, um, so, yeah, actually going to have to try and make sure we're using that every other lap, I guess, between now and the end of the race. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, the, I would not be surprised if a lot of drivers just either don't use it at all or don't use much of it. So, you got to do your research in your cars. Ooh, guy in front of me. Big wobble there. So easy to do. The leader's just done it. Well, I'm worried about. So just see how slow we are through these final few corners. There you go. My recovery time has now expired. Just got to make sure I don't run into the back of this guy through the final... Whoa, hello. So weird the way this thing suddenly understeers sometimes. Oh, have Keep I pressed it at the completely the wrong time? Yes, I have. Need to slow down to give back the time gained. I'll try and lose that second. Apparently that I gained. It's going to be annoying as we head back down towards turn one. To Come on, down, go. Back some time. Go, go, go. There we go, finally. Right, we're going to leave that on, though. 200 seconds, obviously, over three minutes worth. I'll try and keep on it at a turn one, which we will. So, trying to lose as little time as we possibly can. Uh, but, yeah, that was a big waste of the overtake then, of course, as we just ran slightly wide. But there is a big gaggle of cars in front of me here. It will definitely take us back to at least close to the top 10, might even inside it. I mean, look at this. Three cars there right in front, another one as well just in front of them. So it's going to take us back up to about P12 then, of course, if we can try and slice and dice our way through them. We're not even a half distance just yet. It already feels like there's been quite a lot going on in this race. So we make our way through these couple of corners. I absolutely hate. I just cannot find a line that works. Um, better than his line, though. So we make our way through. So scary when you get the wheel spin because you just don't know what it's going to do. And that's what I mean. More and more issues for other drivers. Second gear is just, you can't even look at it through a lot of the corners here. Let's sort of try and get a run off the final corner on Bailey. Try and bring ourselves closer and closer to the positive I rating territory. Is so should be, I don't know why he's lifting out of it so early. To give him some slipstream. Well so Bounce off the red line once again. 300 clicks just over in this car. It's a pretty quick car down the straights. It just feel very, very weird though the way you can extract time out of it. Ooh, that's exactly what I'm worried about doing more. Um, yeah, I reckon we only need P11 though uh, to walk away with some I rating. So not impossible looking at the gaps, but we'll wait and see. Oh, more cars with issues as we round our way up through these final few corners. So easy to do. And now suddenly 
That is Christian by the looks of it. So we're again going to try and get on the overtake. Uh, this final corner. Again, whack though. That curbing off the turn as well. You can see. I mean, I don't know if this driver in front of me is using the overtake. I would assume not. So you can see how All much right. you gain there straight around the outside will go. Right. It's going to be another one gained. Again, we may as well leave it on through turn one. Well done. Let's break a little bit early. Once more down at turn one. Crew chief giving me plenty of information, but then obviously you've got to be careful off of the corner. We've got Ryan and David still battling just in front, actually. They're costing each other quite a lot of time. Um, but yeah, that's definitely going to be the best way, I think, to use the battery, uh, or the overtakes, or I should say, around here. Every other lap out of the final corner. And then obviously all the way through one and two. Might be, you know, if you're feeling really brave, you can try and use it through the next couple of turns as well. To be honest, you know, if we get to the last lap, um, you yeah, know, we may as well actually turn it on, might we, for the last couple of laps. Otherwise, we're just not going to use it all. Unless I get worried that I'm going to bin it. But we'll wait and see. Push a couple more laps before we have to cross that bridge. But yeah, definitely feeling more confident than Christian in front. I want to try and get up to Ryan and David is leading the race. if possible. Car right. Uh, there right. we go. Thank you all. We'll claim another freebie. Oh, hello. Ryan there just struggling a little bit as we round our way through the final couple of corners. Car Let's left. just get on it. Once again, Still use there. that overtake. And hopefully we can try and take some time out of David as well in front well of done. me. Nice front now. So it's kind of, it does seem like the relative is a lot weirder. On iRacing now, as are we going to see a move Car coming in at turn right. one? He's gone and sent it, he's gone right. and slowed it down as well. Fair play to him. Can we try and get a run off the corner? Certainly going to be gaining again. We'll have a look to the inside, but we won't quite go for it. Time round, just make him second guess himself though through the next couple of corners through 180R, 200R, even I think it's called, isn't it? Can we try and switch him off the turn? This Car is left. good. This is why I love Fuji. You can get these kind of Clear races left. as around the outside will go. And now up into P10, if I'm not mistaken. Christian and Ryan now going side by side behind me, so just going to have to watch my mirrors. A little bit deep there. I actually didn't get it down into first gear. That was the problem. Try and ride the throttle off the corner. Two more laps to go. So, yeah, this time around, next lap, I'm going to just match the overtake and leave it on to the end. And hope that we can close up to David. Oh, <laughs> slidey, slidey. I'm rounding our way through the final couple of corners then, about to start the last lap. And we have got to try and get on to the back tree as we round our way out the final corner. Don't think we're quite going to be close enough for the slipstream, but yeah, this is actually going to work out beautifully right the way to the end of the race here. Uh, we're probably going to run out just before the line but of course I'm not going to be able to use it again anyway so we may as well just go for last it so as we start the last three, lap of the race to sound very very odd of course just bouncing off the red line off the for so much of that front straightaway of course but you know this is actually a very, very weird race length this 11 laps because even the other non-fixed super formula races which I think are meant to emulate uh, the real life ones is 26 laps so it's like 40% of that for some reason um, but anyway, we can just see that David just moving around a little bit more than I wanted him to be. Doesn't fill me with confidence as we're trying to look around the outside. Not quite able to do anything there. Now we need to try and find an opportunity as we make our way down in towards the final few corners. We'll have a look. We'll show the nose to the inside, but get it slowed down on the apex. Make sure we're giving them room, but we're through. Just make sure now we That's can get on the throttle through the final few corners because he is potentially, you know, if he's saved some overtake, I'm like going to try and go for it in towards the final few corners. And now on to the last straight of this race. You can see our countdown. We've actually done pretty well making sure we use all of the OT throughout this race. But round in the final corner, just try and get the final little boost out of it. Are we going to see David closing up towards the line? He's still seven tenths back at the moment. I think we're just about going to do enough. It's going to be P9 here in our first Super Formula race. Uh, quite happy with that. You know, a little bit annoyed with the mistake I made early on. Um, but yeah, you know, a good recovery drive after that when you consider 
just how far down the order we were. But yeah, let's go take a look then at our final race results. And hopefully we'll have gained some I rating and maybe, maybe some SR. Well, let's take a look then at our final race results. Another 21 I rating gain there, but unfortunately a loss of 0.19 SR in the end. A third split race here from Fuji. Seems like the attendance is absolutely fantastic at the start of these races there. But yeah, P9 for us. Uh, Alonso finishes P2 Sergeant in P3 there. So that's my clickbaity title uh, sorted. Yeah, 7x uh, really was not the ideal race that we wanted there. But looks like our fastest lap, um, obviously depending on when others were using the battery, all that kind of thing, uh, was decent enough all things considered. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, get yourself subscribed, and yeah, we'll be back very, very soon with more sim racing content. A massive thank you to all of my YouTube members and my Patreon supporters for their continued donations to help my work. These things go much further than I think a lot of you ever realise and allow me to continue making content full-time here on YouTube. So if you want to support me from as little as £1 a month and be featured on all of these end clips either click the join button next to the subscribe or head over to my patreon there's a link down in the description